Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 with my good buddy Walter. Hello. Hello. Long time no see. Yeah, it's, it's good to be back in the seat here ready to conquer. Indeed. Well, you're ready to conquer. I'm ready to, to, to sail out of here. Um, I, it's, it's all coming back to me. The horrible flashbacks of, of, King, of uh, the Mongols slowly taking all the land that I wanted. That man, the Zulu. Yeah, and I'm worried that the Iroquois are going to expand. They're pretty notorious for expanding until oh, they gosh, yes. every little spot of the Oh gosh, yes. But, uh, yeah, you, you've got a nice fallback on Beijing, so, uh, I'd say that's fairly comfortable. Yeah, if, we can, if I can take out that, that whole section of the map and, and claim it for myself, that would be pretty mm -hmm, nice. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm, I'm left with... That. You know, the the tundra and <laughs> snow down yeah. here. You know, plenty of open you space. Really got a lot of tundra plenty there. of open space to settle, but who wants that? Come on. It's uh, time for the the classic England versus Zulu. But uh, let's see. York is on the growth. That's awesome. Citizens you know, I think one of the mod sibs is the. Um, Oh, I think it's the Inuits, and they actually can build improvements on the snow and make them a, a usable tile. This is true. I have also seen a uh, modded civilization of Santa Claus and his elves. <laughs> and they can build little snowmen on, on the snow, and that's kind of cute. Um, well, we got a nasty bunch of barbarian scum here to deal with. Jerusalem, how's it going? I'm just gonna uh, probably nothing beyond that. I might as well head back in some other direction. Go up that way. Hooray! I have stone. Not not very useful. Okay. Let's keep moving. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, I can't reach them from there. Rat. Pew pew! Okay. And that's it. We're working on a lighthouse in London. Get a worker out of York. Start making something in this land. Eventually I'll have some silver. Eventually. Well, I'll have some silver to trade. How about that? I've got one already, don't I? And the more we can trade, the better. Absolutely. Absolutely. Every, everybody wants silver. Spain, Iroquois, Zulus. They're actually so friendly towards me. They desire friendly relations with my empire. Yeah. They, they, well, they probably saw the movie Zulu and like, that eh, didn't turn out too good. Let's be friends this time. <laughs> I mean, imp impies are great, but against riflemen, now you, you need a lot of impies. <laughs> you will have to be tricky, careful, because the uh, AI is pretty high up in difficulty. They're going to move pretty quickly. That's for certain. That is for certain. Oh my gosh, I am taking a, a pounding here from the barbarians. Pardon me, is wishing I had picked up honor just for that 33% bonus. And more encampments to discover. Great. Okay, just great. Just what I needed. You know, all this all this open space is good for one thing, spawning barbarians. Uh, pretty soon here I'm going to have to get some more units just for pest control. If you go down the honor tree one step, you can get all the culture for killing all of them. I know, that might be worth doing. If only we could share policies like we share research, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know how that, that would be super overpowered though. Yeah, I, I think you'd sort of run away with the Let's game. See. I'm thinking we got a lot of open terrain here, so I'm going to take an accuracy promotion and keep shooting. 
and you keep healing. And that's that's that. Do I have anything queued up? After the lighthouse, we'll go for the library. Yeah, probably best. Left turn is at 68. Temple of Art. Somebody's probably close to Temple of Artemis by now, I would imagine. As tempting as it is. Although, in a way, I don't know. A lot of people say that going for the wonders is, you know, a bad idea on higher difficulty because the AI always beats you to it. But right. sometimes, maybe the gold compensation you get is actually worth having. You know, I'm okay. you know I, I felt that way in Civ 4, but I really feel like it's mediocre in Civ 5. Because I can't turn production into gold directly until guilds, which is a ways off. True. So, I'm making three gold per turn if I really want the income, you know, because I could... Say I go for the Temple of Artemis, and I don't make it, but I get a hundred gold out of it, or, or whatever. I can push me pretty close towards, say, buying a water mill in London, which would be super helpful. So, thinking of it that way, maybe it's not so bad. But then again, that's 19 or so turns that I'm not building other things, so... Really sticking point. You've, you have a lot of uh, barbarians over there. Oh, you've noticed, yeah. yeah. Oh, hi Zulu! Yes, yes, your chariot archer and spearmen coming, coming to York for, uh, see the sights. See the, the great stone fish of York, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good times, good times. Oh, and there's an enemy archer. Now we're dead. Just great. It's just great. Okay, got more. Oh, that's way over there. Spain has founded Catholicism. Sounds about right. London's expanded, more coast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spain is usually pretty quick on the religion. I don't, I don't know how they pull that off. They don't have... They don't have any unique things to really get them there quickly. Who does what? Spain doesn't have any unique ability that's going to get them to a religion quickly, so... Yet they often get the calls of them quite quickly, so that was surprising. Um, I mean, one, they, go, they went for the piety tree. You can see that. Oh, uh, yeah. And they they might have a natural wonder, you know. They might be by the Luru or something. Or oh, come on! <laughs> oh, seriously, <laughs> seriously. <I called> it. <laughs> this is. Um, are you able to build a scout? I've read a good strategy is to block them with scouts. Um. I am 11 gold short of buying a scout, so I'm going to need my current income, I'm going to need three more turns before I can buy even a scout. There. Units are expensive, man. I can, I can send you nine gold. Nine gold? How do you, how do you only seven have seven gold? What are you spending on? What are you buying up? I'm supporting... Look at my army! Well, that would be gold per turn, but why do you have so little capital? What did you purchase? Uh, I, I bought a luxury tile so that I could get more capital. Ah, okay. And it's probably important if you're going to be taking over cities, but... Yeah. Alright, I'm just here to defend myself. I could really use an archer. That's going to be 71 gold. Okay. Worker, we don't have time uh, for you. Can accept my proposal. Uh, I don't. I don't see a proposal here to accept. It doesn't hasn't come up yet. Oh, oh, there it is. Hmm. Sorry, it was hiding behind the public declaration from the Iroquois. Um, I I don't need your two gold per turn. Don't don't bankrupt yourself. 
I'll, I'll take the uh, the seven. Enemy has been spotted in our territory. No kidding. Uh, well, unfortunate you're not on the other side of the river to get that defense bonus. Okay, this archer is going to die. And this little archer still can't kill off that brute. My goodness. Okay, scout. I would use your, your warrior to, to hit that spearman. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. Holy your cow. Is safe. He's got three little. What? What's tight? Because he's um, not. He's, he's gonna. He, he, there's no way he has. Um, catapults yet, so he's gonna try and conquer you by just brute force. So you wanna weaken oh, yeah. the spearmen so that when it hits your city. Um. That's right. It's going to do... I, I will do 19 damage to him, and he'll do 43 damage to me. So... Right, but your warrior is safe in your city, so... I, I suppose. It's, it's worth doing it once. Yeah. As you take down his, his attack points that he would have against you. Yeah, we really should have tried to get somebody else to, to fight them, but I don't have anything to trade, you know. Hey, Genghis Khan, you want to declare war on uh, on the Zulu? Yeah, he didn't see a way to make this work. <laughs> I don't have anything to offer. Nope. Bye. Okay, hey, I got a mine. I have I have some silver now. Actually. So, Genghis Khan, you... Wine? Don't I... Do I not have access to wine? Not yet. No, that's right. That's right. Uh, they, they stole it from us. That man, the Zulu. Inspiring to steal all the wine in the world. Want some silver? Yeah, you do. Alright, six happiness. Not that I need it, but you know, it's something. Alright, next. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. More units have appeared. And... Oh... You didn't. You... Wait, where is it? It's gotta be it. You discovered construction. You have discovered construction. You know what that does to me, right? Oh, you can't buy an archer. I can't buy an archer now. Uh, well, you could buy a scout. I can buy a scout. Or another warrior. Uh, I need, I need 52 more gold to get a... But I, I need a ranged unit. I need a ranged unit to shoot at these guys. Yeah, at this point, you need to stop them from surrounding you. Oh, pff, they can surround me. I don't care. I'll be fine. Did, wait, you, are you serious? Okay. Uh, bye, warrior. All right. What? What do you? What is this strategy with scout? If I bought one, what would it do for me? I stick it out there, and he dies. Um. How does that help me? Well, it was more so that. If you, if you had been able to put them out before they got you surrounded more so, it helps to keep them from... Like, but right now he doesn't have catapults or any ranged units, so it's about reducing the number of tiles he can use to hit you in the same turn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
I didn't so you're, you're a little stuck with, right now because he's got most of the workable spots. If you could have put a scout where he's got his healthier spearmen, that would have been a stronger defensive spot that also would have prevented him from taking up another attack. Oh, yeah, spot. okay. As, as you were saying, yes. As a early blockade. But he still right. wouldn't if have you, lasted very long. It would have slowed him down a little bit, but not much. A scout right. is more of a speed bump. That's, that's <laughs> what you, and that's what you're trying to do, is just speed bump him until you can sort of get yourself better set up. Okay, um... I have, I have other problems, though. Let's see, can I... See, I could kill that brute off. But it really wouldn't do me any good, would it? No, it would not. Okay. Archers, head, head back to town. You try to work on the mine while you can. Yeah, you really just want to, as best as possible, weaken his melee units so they can't do as much damage right, to right. the city. Oh my goodness. Oh my, that's a lot of damage. Uh, okay. Can we... We can't even destroy the Spearman. It's not good. I need money. Or try try when you're not ranged. Right? Melee unit. Nuts. Can't even get walls. See that's that's the, I don't even have walls. I've got nine combat strength in New York. It's, it's pitiful. Yeah, it's just it's pitiful. It's really oh good. A policy. What 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 do I even is honor even worth doing at this point? Um, I, don't know. I just keep going down tradition. Boost my capital. Yeah, I'd probably just going down tradition. Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 Barbarians. See, I've, I've still got to deal with a lot of barbarians, especially if I want to actually make another city at all. No, I'm going to take Honor. I'm going to take the Opener. I mean, skipping out on Land of the Elite. But that boost versus Barbarians is kind of essential at the moment. See, now I can actually... As long as, as Zulu doesn't bring in more units, he shouldn't be strong enough to take you. I don't think. He shouldn't be what? He's on the Zulu's only got two warriors and, and basically a dead spearman, so... Yeah. Yeah, unless they have okay. a lot more, I think I'm okay. Yeah. York is, you know, on fire, but I'm okay. I'm in the red. Yeah, it's I'm close. in the red. They have two warriors. And... The, the darn combat dialogue disappears so quick. That's one thing really irritating about Civ Five. You, you cannot go back and find that that text anymore. Okay. Do I do I weaken the weakest one or do I beat down the strongest one? What's the best move here? I can't actually kill either one. the weakest one, so at least I'll be able to kill something next turn, or he'll just suicide, but we only got 59 HP left in York. Uh, yeah. I don't have any units in it at the moment, so it's not like I'll be losing anything. I've got a free monument there. I, I literally will lose nothing, except, you know, the two citizens there, but their lives aren't important. Psh, who needs them? <laughs> I'm quite close on Beijing. And more barbarians. Hooray. 